James. Reggie Middleton staring into a camera with a very, very bright light on the eve of Halloween, October 30th. I have quite a scary story to tell you Europeans. Guess what? The ECBQE program has failed. It doesn't work. Now, I've been saying that upon the implementation. I've been saying that throughout the program. And you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take my opinion. You don't have to go through or believe the work of my analytical team. I could take data, the charts presented directly from the ECB itself that shows utter and complete failure. The ECB's balance sheet has skyrocketed over the last year and change, straight that way. What QE is, is the wholesale large-scale purchasing of financial assets, risky and otherwise, to increase demand, increase the price, decrease yield of these assets, and compress the spreads. In doing that, initially, uh, allegedly, they incentivize the banks and enable the banks to lend towards nine financial companies and consumers. Hence, even though the ECB's balance sheet goes up, lending should go up as well. Well, guess what? Record high for the ECB balance sheet from buying all this stuff. Most of it is risky, much of it is trash. Some of it is um, non-existent from an empirical value perspective. And lending to now financial companies at an all-time low. What happened? Boo. Happy Halloween. So, as a follow-up, now, QE implemented the Fed ECB, not the Fed, I'm sorry, ECB's Fed Part 2, goes on a buying binge, full blast, it doesn't work. At the same time, this QE is supposed to be rescuing the um, European Monetary Union financial system um, and the banks, but Deutsche Bank, the largest European bank, announces a $6 billion loss due to write downs to goodwill. Basically, a lot of that stuff and trash on the balance sheet wasn't worth it, and they were forced to recognize the fact that it wasn't worth it. They are pulling out of 10 countries. Decide to pull out of 10 countries. So instead of increasing lending, chances are they will be decreasing lending even farther. And what happens when banks get in trouble? Well, first of all, they're firing, they are letting go of 33,000 employees. That's a lot. 33,000 is an awful lot. One bank. So that seems to be a drag on the economy, number one, and both a leading and a trailing indicator of what's to come and what has um, happened. Expect bail-ins to come, Cypress-style bail-ins. Again, um, common sense, logic, definitely not 100% chance, maybe not even a 70% chance, but more of a chance than I think anybody should be willing to risk. Now, one answer to bail-ins, Veritasium. Yes, talking my book, preaching my book, because it works. Remember, Veritasium allows you to maintain control, custody, um, and possession of your assets at all times. Give it to a bank, when you give these assets to the bank, you have neither control, possession, ownership, or custody. Yes, you don't even own it. Remember, bail-ins are possible because when you send money to the bank, you become, if you put your money in a checking account or savings account, you become an unsecured um, senior creditor. So you're below the secured creditors, but you're above the equity holders. When something happens to the bank, you're simply not getting paid your money's back. A lot of people believe that they're taking their money, they're putting it in the bank, and they still own it. Wrong. Not true. That's how bail-ins work. Bail-ins work with any centralized hosting, hosted wallet. A bank is just a centralized hosted wallet. Most of that money is a digital currency. Not actual dollars, but digital ones and zeros, euros, dollars, etc. As a matter of fact, even hosted Bitcoin wallets can be confiscated via bail-in. 
dollars, right? If you send your um, keys and your ownership of your Bitcoin to an entity and the government decides to confiscate it, the entity decides to confiscate it, or court decides to confiscate it, remember, you've relinquished your control, custody, and ownership of it. Ownership may be a great thing with the legal area, but I know you can lose it nonetheless. With Veritasium, everything is kept on your client side. Everything. Encrypted. You can't beat it because it's a new way of doing finance. Peer-to-peer -peer finance. Worlds without banks. I'm sorry, not world without banks. <laughs> Loans without banks, trades without brokers, contracts without lawyers. Sounds revolutionary. Till next time, and happy Halloween. And leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. He, Reggie walks in looking really cool. He's got a Google Glass on, and I'm like, man, that's cool. And did he walk what did like you? That? Yeah, he walked like that. That's how you walk if you've got <laughs> Google like Glass that? on. Everyone really? walks real cool. Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. <laughs> Reggie Middleton. Oh, he doesn't mince his words. We're talking about Reggie Middleton. <laughs>